Minion Necromancer is finally incredible. I've been testing out the updated classes in the new public test realm, and boy oh boy is Summoner Necromancer insane now. Here I'm using my favorite version, which is the Bone Spear Summoner, which essentially summons an entire army, which can all use Bone Spear along with yourself. Yes, now we have an entire army of the dead hurling Bone Spears at everyone. It's absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't matter if it's entire rooms of elites or focusing on a singular boss, everything gets gets melted within seconds. The build also has insane survivability thanks to a newly improved version of Decrepify, which as you can see covers the entire battlefield and makes enemies much weaker. What you see me using in this video is practically the base armor provided in the public test realm. Very little has been optimized and the build is already so, so powerful right out the gate. There's no uniques in my setup and it's already obliterating high tier nightmare dungeons and the pit. So once it's fully optimized, I can only imagine Imagine the kind of carnage it will cause. For me, this is the perfect hybrid build between actively doing something yourself and letting your minions take care of everything, and I've never had so much fun playing Diablo before. In this video, I'll cover the core gameplay loop, the skill tree, the paragon board, and show you some of the gear, including the new masterwork system I'm using. So you can use this yourself when you try this build out now in the public test realm or in the future in season four. If you've been struggling with lagging connection, especially in those higher tier dungeons, or if you want to switch servers to access the new public test realm in Diablo, then I recommend checking out Gear Up Booster, which is software aimed at optimizing the latency or ping between your computer or console and the servers of various games, including Diablo 4. Using Gear Up booster you minimize ping, ensure no packet loss and enable cross-region gaming which lets you play different servers for different games. If you're a hardcore player then this is even more important as with a bad connection you can lose hours and hours of gameplay in a single moment of lag. Basically if you used to run with 100 plus ping before then now you're going to have something like 50 ping so you'll have a lag free experience. And don't worry this software is not a bannable offense on any game, tons of professional gamers use it. Gear Up Booster not only works with PC players Players, but console players can also benefit from this through the Hyperev router, which is also super easy to set up. Make sure to use the link below in the description to download Gear Up Booster now and let me know what's the lowest ping you can achieve with Diablo using Gear Up and how much did it change your gaming experience. So what are you waiting for? Download Gear Up Booster now. So let's get back to the video and go over the core gameplay loop. Essentially, you want to start by using your super ability Army of the Dead, which raises both the maximum amount of skeletal mages and skeletal warriors. We essentially upgrade our skeletal mages to be bone mages, which now have a 25% chance to cast bone splinters or bone spear if the raised skeleton ability is on your action bar. And with the new patch, your minions gain 100% of your stats, so the bone spears your minions use will hit just as hard as you and benefit from all the bone passives that a typical bone spear build has. So instantly, right off the bat, we have six skeletal warriors, five skeletal mages, and a golem roaming the battlefield, and the mages will start chucking bone spears when attacking enemies. The golem is automatically summoned, but we do have it on our action bar because it's one of the only sources of becoming unstoppable to break crowd control. We then use Decrepify, which applies slow, a crowd control, and 20% damage reduction to the battlefield. Abhorrent Decrepify also gives you a chance to reduce your active cooldowns by one second, which can stack based on the number of enemies affected and can noticeably reduce Army of the Dead's cooldown. Using the new masterwork system, we can get multiple pieces of armor, all with increased Decrepify size, which stack. We can really increase the size of Decrepify. Like, look at this. It's so big. The animation for it is pixelated. This is great because then more enemies have damage reduction applied and more enemies will be affected to reduce your cooldowns. Decrepify also increases our damage output through the passive Amplify damage so it's also great for you and your minions damage output. At this point if things aren't already dead we can start hurling our bone spear which is the main attack that we use. Bone Spear, as you already know, is a great ability which penetrates through enemies and ricochets back with three further shards. We also make enemies vulnerable with it thanks to Supernatural Bone Spear. Our final ability, Corpse Explosion, deals massive damage to surrounding enemies. And the great thing about this is that the build generates absolutely massive amount of corpses, even during boss encounters. You can constantly use this even when you run out of essence. Using Corpse Explosion also generates essence thanks to Grim Harvest, so it's a great way to get back essence from time to time. So let's go over the skill tree. We put one point into bone splinters and one point into enhanced bone splinters so we can unlock the next section of the skill tree. 
We do not use bone splinters on our toolbar here. Five points into bone spear with one into enhance and supernatural bone spear. Three points into hued flesh. One point into corpse explosion with one into enhanced and plagued corpse explosion each. Three points into skeletal warrior mastery which increases our minion survivability and damage. Two points into grim harvest for the essence generation and then three points into fuel by death. Then three points into death's approach for more movement speed. Three points into amplified damage along with one point into decrepify and enhanced and abhorrent decrepify. Three points into skeletal mage mastery which is super important to increase our minion bone spear damage. And then we get into the bone passives. One point into serration so we can get three points into compound fracture and three points into avulsion. Three points into golem mastery for more damage. One point into army of the dead and one into each of its modifiers. Three points into inspiring leader, three into hellbent commander and then three into death's defense to really boost our minions potency. Finally our key passive is actually ossified essence which does massively increase damage for both you and your skeletal mage's bone spear. In terms of the book of the dead, our skeletal warriors have the reaper passive whereby they have a chance to form more corpses. Our skeletal mages, as I've mentioned before, have the bone spear passive, and our golems are bone golems, which generate five corpses every time we use the golem ability. And so on our toolbar, we have bone spear, decrepify, army of the dead, golem, corpse explosion, and raise skeleton as our skills. In terms of gear, if you didn't already know, stats have been massively changed and are much more streamlined. And we have the new master working system on top. Gear is barely optimized with the new master working system, but I'll give you a brief overview of the gear I am using to mainly focus on the aspects rather than the stat affixes, which do leave a lot to be desired currently. There are no uniques in this build thus far, but that's because I wanted to get this video out to you as soon as possible. I will highlight a few that I think could work really well with the build. So here you go. On my helmet, I run aspect of disobedience for more armor and damage reduction. On my chest piece, I run on armor of hardened bones for even more damage reduction. On my gloves I have this splintering aspect which makes bone spear more powerful and also applies to our mage's bone spears. I have the occult dominion aspect which is mandatory in increasing the number of minions we have. On my boots I run the metamorphosis aspect which allows us to have another source of unstoppable in the build apart from when we just actively use golem. This is also the reason why I don't run the juggernaut aspect because otherwise our evade cooldown becomes unreasonably high. On your amulet you have the unyielding commander aspect which is super important so we apply it to our amulet for a 50% bonus. This gives your minions a monstrous 105 increased damage along with a massive amount of damage reduction. On our rings you run the exposed flesh aspect which can generate a ton of essence the serration aspect which increases the damage of our ossified essence key passive even further and then on our weapons we run aspect of reanimation which boosts minion damage and aspect of frenzied dead which increases attack speed. The gear is by no means optimized but definitely when master working gear look out for decrepify size on your armor pieces. You can also get resistances really easily when master working so you can really easily hit the resistance cap without wasting too many stats from your main affixes. I run emeralds on my weapons for more vulnerable damage and then rubies on my armor for more life. I've then put the relevant gems to boost my resistances on my rings and amulets that I'm lacking in my actual armor rolls. So that will vary based on what armor rolls you specifically have. In terms of some easy uniques to get, these aren't uber uniques, but uniques such as Tybalt's Will will really boost the damage of this build because we're becoming unstoppable by using Metamorphosis easily. You could even use Flicker Step so you can use Army of the Dead more often. And then we also have the newly upgraded Ring of Mendelin, which would be a massive upgrade to literally any summoner build. If I had any of these uniques, honestly, this build would be even more ridiculous. I'll quickly cover the Paragon board, but don't worry, I'll leave a planner link in the comments or description below. So we initially put the Corporeal Glyph to start with, so we gain more movements speed and more damage. I picked up all the rare nodes on the starter board as they're really easy to get the bonuses on. I then get the flesh eater board which grants 40% increased damage when you consume 5 corpses along with exhumation which gives you massive boost to corpse damage and allows you to become fortified when spamming corpse explosion which is nice for survivability. Then I picked up the cult leader node which boosts damage based on your attack speed. I went up and got my minions more armor and then place the Dead Razor Glyph which provides more damage resistance for my minions and increases summoning damage. Then I got the Bone Graph node which increases my damage even further with bone skills and then place the Essence Glyph for more critical strike damage. Finally I got the Scent of Death Legendary node 
which boosts damage reduction or damage based on the number of corpses nearby. So there you have it, my guide to the Bone Spear Minion Necromancer build that is already dominating the public test realm with very little gear and will destroy everything in Season 4. If you enjoyed what I talked about today, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Diablo build guides as we get closer to Season 4. I'm Mr. Ronit and that's it for today. Peace out guys.